little more than the it factor. What makes you think you could take on Apple and Samsung in a market where growth is slowing? Premium materials, craftsmanship, and passion, frankly, is what we're bringing back to the consumer electronics space. So You don't think Apple has that? <clears throat> I think there has been a little bit of incrementalism in the last few years. I think there has been uh, a little bit of a boredom factor setting in. I've, you know, your grandparents have the same devices as your grandkids as you do. Um, we've got a very distinctive device, obviously. Mm -hmm. It's got the first ceramic titanium enclosure. We've got the biggest screen and the smallest form factor. And we've got a unique... Uh, accessory port in the back, which has this, frankly, world's smallest, most amazing 360 camera that just snaps right on the back. Um, what I think is going to happen with our device is it's going to evolve with you. Um, it's going to allow you to make your phone meaningfully more powerful over time. We're going to focus at Essential on only uh, what I think is a significant innovation uh, at all times and only significant accessories. Um, this device, for example, we're selling for $49.99. Mm -hmm. It is not only going to democratize 360 video access, but it's something that's affordable you can bring with you at all times. And you can capture, frankly, any important moment, whether it's a sporting event, a musical event, your kids' first steps. So you've worked at five mobile companies. This is your first hardware company. Let's start with the hardware. What are some custom components in the phone? Well, it's, it's, incl so our, it's enclosure materials. We're the only premium product that I think is using premium materials. We're not marking up our build of materials by a factor of three. Mm -hmm. We think we, we need to be a pro-consumer brand that offers our materials and our phone and all our devices, frankly, at a, at a, at a great value proposition. Um, our full display is the first rounded screen. We've got our camera knocks through the middle of it. Um, and ultimately, uh, you can think about what we're doing in the long term of this device by looking at the back. Um, we are using a fingerprint sensor that's on the back. We have an internal camera that's got a black and white fusion color mm. uh, system. And our next device will actually swallow all the edges up. So we're almost uh, basically bezel at the moment. That's because of the titanium. We've got thinner edges on the device than anybody else. And frankly, it's, it's distinctive. So I have to say we're bringing back the cool factor. What sort of software customizations are there on top of the Android base? We're actually going for purest, cleanest, simplest Android. So Andy's operating system has been around a while. It's obviously, I think, 85% of the market. Um, we think that we know how to take advantage of it better than almost any other firm, if not any other firm in the market. And we're trying to, frankly, unleash the full power of the pure Android operating system. Will third-party accessory makers be able to make things for the connector on the back? They, they will, in the fullness of time. I mean, it'll be a curated experience to start with, but there will be, we're big on open ecosystems. There will be a developer network around that. Um, our Android ecosystem play will have basically no preloaded apps, minimal preloads is what we're going for. We think mm -hmm. people want choice. Um, but yeah, I, th I think you're right. We're going to be able to turn the back into a real standard in the long term, a hardware developer network. So the home operating system, mm -hmm. Ambient OS, that you, you are also putting out, this is, you know, the idea is to be a connected uh, operating system for the home. The connected home has yet to take off. When will it? I mean, what do we need to get there? That's a good question. I mean, I think Andy and I believe that the home's in about the same stage of development as the phone was in 2004 when he started Android. So we're intent in the next five to 10 years on building out that horizontal play. Mm -hmm. um, I think in, the, in developed nations, it's going to take the better part of a decade for us to go from single, really just digital appliances is what people have in the home. We're trying to build the first device to actually help you chore choreograph your home, automate, connect it all together. And we're doing that without being another walled garden. So you think Android is just fine. Will you ever build your own phone OS? We'd never say never in the long run. But in the short run, we think there's a lot that we can do to add premium hardware to a great operating system. Uh, and we feel that no one's ever done full justice to the Android operating system with the hardware. So we're a hardware business when it comes to the phone and things like our 360 camera. We're a software hardware full stack on the home. So Apple is launching, as far as we believe, a, a Siri speaker, home speaker to take on Google Home, Amazon Echo. What does Apple bring to the market, or is it too late? I think we're in the first inning in the home, to be honest. Um, we're kind of like where the phone market was in 2004 and 5 when we're just scratching the surface of capabilities. Mm. There will be a lot of change. One of the things that, you know, that Andy and I are passionate on is believing that in the long run, Consumers want stuff to just work, and they want to be able to buy whatever point solutions they want. So we don't think the winning model is going to be, you have to use all my stuff for it to play well together. Mm -hmm. We want to provide that horizontal layer 
that enables you to pick whatever you want out for your speakers, your stereo system, your TV, your lights, your front door lock, your baby monitor. Um, think about the long tail in the home, and it's actually a much longer tail than a mobile device market was. There's a lot of sentimental value in there and so on still to come. All right.